Hey guys, it's Sandy from Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about photos. Now, photos are the first thing a customer will see when they are scrolling through any type of forum that you're selling on, whether it be Shopify or Etsy or Facebook. What will grab them and make them want to come by from you is your photos. So it's the first impression that they have on the items that you sell. You don't need fancy stuff to take nice photos. I have my phone. That's literally all I have to take my photos with. Now I do have a nice fancy camera, you know, down the line if you want to build up to getting yourself a nice camera, that's perfectly fine too. But I'm gonna kind of show you my setup and how I do it and how easy it is to take very nice photos on a very low budget. So let's get to this. So I have my phone and the first thing I'm going to do is turn off any lights that I might have going on around the room that I'm in. I'm just in my craft room today. This is typically where I do my photos. <clears throat> you want to find a place that has a nice big window so that way you can get filtered natural light onto your tumbler. So first step, turn off all lights and open up shades. So let's do that real quick. So here I am again in my craft room. My lights are off. My window's open. I'm near a filtered light source. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the board that I use. I found this board very cheap at Michael's and I actually had my husband staple all these boards together. They were about $2 a piece for these planks. And then I just simply have a mat and some flowers. Not nothing, nothing too fancy. Now I know that other people, you know, they have rugs and whatnot, so it's really all up to you on how you want to stand out. What you want is something different from everybody else. You don't you don't want all your photos to look like anybody else's that you see. Because if you have something that kind of stands out, then when customers scroll through, they'll know, hey, that's Sandy's Organized Chaos. That's her tumblers because I, I recognize it because of the, the pictures that she has. So trying to find something that kind of stands out and, and kind of marks it your own is something I would recommend. But I have my board. Now I'm going to take my personal tumbler. This is, <laughs> I'll take a photo of this today. And I'm just going to lay it on the mat. You don't have, you know, you can have it any which way. It's, it's really up to you. I kind of like mine at an angle. Now I'm going to take my phone. I'm just using an iPhone. And I'm going to just line it up. You want to kind of think outside the box. You, you want to get those angles. So I, I kind of like to just come down, make sure I don't get the, the outside of my table there. And then I'm just going to snap that photo. And it's as simple as that. Let's take a look at that photo. That's a pretty good looking photo. And I don't really do anything to my photos. The only thing I'll do to them, because you want to keep them as natural as possible, because you don't want, you don't want to like keep adjusting the photos or anything. That I'm, you want it as natural as to what the customer will see when they pull out of the box as possible. So I like to just come in here, let me see find my adjustments here. The only thing I do is this vignette. That's the only thing I really do when it comes to doing the photos is I just kind of add a little bit of that black around the edges. I just kind of like the way that looks. Press done and that photo is done. Now I'm going to take my phone and keep doing different angles. So now I want to try to capture one where I'm right directly over the tumbler. I kind of like to turn my phone just a little to the side, just make sure it's lined up in there really well, and snap that photo. And then let's take a look at that one. Now we're gonna come at it from a lower angle. So if you see here, you kind of see a little bit more of a dynamic to that tumbler, you get a little bit more up close to the glitters that 
that you have on your tumbler. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap a photo of that as well. You always want to make sure that you try to get every angle possible. So I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna get the bottom of my tumbler. while not getting the background. <laughs> Sometimes you have to tap on it to focus the phone. There we go. Now we are outside and just as long as the light is filtered, there's nothing wrong with taking photos outside as well. Just making sure that you have some type of nice background, whether it be a wall or some grass or whatever it may be. You can also bring your photos outside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and snap a nice photo of this as well. Now I am back inside and I'm just going to take a look at the photos that I took. Really like how they turned out and again I added that vignette around this one so I'm just going to go through and do edit these ones too. I'm going to flip this because I don't like how there we go that's much better. And then get out of that press edit one more time go down to my vignette and just slightly add just a little bit of that that warmth around the edges nothing too crazy and again I'll take a look at that edit it add my little bit of vignette to it nope that's not what I wanted I hope I can figure out my phone here a little bit of that done and even these ones turned out really nice. But that's how easy it is to take pictures, nice professional looking pictures with your phone. Nothing fancy, nothing too crazy. And then over time, if you'd like to build up to that really nice camera, this one's my camera. This is what I use sometimes. <laughs> but I have a Nikon Coolpix P900. I actually bought this at Sam's Club. Sam's Club is great for really good quality cameras at a very low price. I think this would, they range between like 300 to 800. So it depends on, on what kind of camera you get, but this is the one that I have outside of my phone. But most of the pictures that I take that you see on my Etsy shop, I took with my phone. So just as long as you have filtered light and good angles, it's as easy as that. So I hope this really helped you guys out today. Make sure you just get those angles down, find nice shading in a room somewhere, and you're good to go. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more tips, tutorials, or vlogs I have coming your way. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.